Hi everyone, my name is Sam Ng. I work on the C Sharp compiler team. Um, and as always, with all that we talk about, you can find more information about this on my blog, which is at blogs.msdn.com slash Sam Ng. Okay, so today we're going to uh, chat about um, com interop in the C Sharp language. Now, with the introduction of C Sharp 4.0, we realized that um, you know com isn't going anywhere, and we can't get rid of it no matter how hard we try. So um, if you can't beat them, join them, right? And so uh, with C Sharp 4 we've introduced some language features that will help you as a COM programmer uh, be able to write your code a little more fluently, a little bit more um, naturally. So the very first thing we want to start off with is a sample COM app. So what I've got here is a basic console application that is just a logging app. Um, it creates uh, a Word document, it spits out a sample text string to that document, and then it quits. So here we've got our init method, which just you know sets up the Word application. We've got a shutdown method that quits Word, and down here we've got a log method that just spits out the string that we uh, are trying to log. And so of course my main driver method just creates um, one of my loggers and goes and init it, logs a, a string, and shuts down. Okay. So the very first feature that I want to chat with you about today is um, something that we refer to as the com no ref feature. Um, essentially what this does is it allows you to pass arguments that should be passed by ref without that ref keyword there. Now for those of you who are office programmers, you'll know that you know most of the office APIs have loads of arguments and most of them are required to be passed by ref. And so this kind of gets tedious, right? Because you can't even just write you know null 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 or type dot missing type dot missing you've got to create a local for it and then pass that local by ref so you know case in point here our document dot add method um, you know it takes four ref arguments and we don't need to specify any of them but we've got to uh, provide a local variable for this type dot missing thing and uh, pass that by ref because you know because it requires a ref well, in C-Sharp 4.0, what we allow you to do instead is we allow you to, um, you know, when we detect that you're calling a method off of a com object, we allow you to pass the ref parameters not by ref. And the compiler will take whatever argument you've passed, wrap that in a temporary local for you, and pass that local by ref on your behalf. So in our call here to documents.add, I can go ahead and just remove these ref statements I can build and I can just run and of course this runs now um, one interesting thing to note is that um, most of the word API's also have default parameter values for all of the arguments that they've got uh, namely the default parameter value is going to be type dot missing which is exactly what we're uh, what we're specifying so I can even just go ahead and remove all of these altogether and go ahead and build and run and everything you know works exactly as I would expect okay so um, we noticed that we got rid of our you know little type dot missing um, helpers that we needed to add so we can just get rid of this local variable altogether so that's essentially what the com no ref feature allows us to do. It allows us to take a method, in this case add, which required a whole bunch of ref arguments and allows us to specify them not by ref. And you know, combining that with the optional parameter value feature, um, we can just simply uh, make this call to add without passing any arguments. As you can obviously see, this is much clearer in terms of the code that you're writing and is much easier for you to read. Um, and much easier for you to maintain further down the road. Okay, the second feature I'm going to chat with you about for that we've introduced for com interop is um, this notion of index properties. So for those of you who program against the object model a lot, you'll be used to writing things like this. You know, where you um, are really wanting to call an index property, but because the C# -sharp language does not allow you to use index properties as first-class citizens, you've got to call them via their accessor method. And so, you know, you have to call the get item or the set item, passing in the value as the last parameter. Um, well, we realize that this is kind of limiting and kind of 
really kind of a wart in the in the whole com interop story as well and so we decided that we would fix this and allow you to consume these guys so essentially what that means is instead of calling uh, get underscore item I can simply use my indexer syntax on um, on my property and uh, pass the parameters um, to that indexer and, and access the indexer um, that way so the first thing we should note is again we can get rid of the roughness in the argument and then we can just get rid of this call to get item and start it with this square bracket and close it off and we'll go ahead and build just to make sure that yep that does succeed and we'll run one more time to show that indeed we do um, have everything running as we'd expect so that's index properties um, it's something that you know users probably have used uh, conceptually and now we're just allowing to use it syntactically in the way that in the same way that you would think about it okay the third example if we scroll down here to my shutdown method is this call to quit well the first thing we can do again we can remove the refs and you know because we're passing type dot missing everywhere we can remove all the arguments altogether so you know that's already a bonus this looks a little bit nicer the second thing is though that we should notice what's actually happening here um, here we've got a, a property access for doc parent and what this guy does is this returns me the parent of my uh, of my document um, but of course it's an object pointer so I gotta store it in an object uh, but now when I wanna try to go ahead and use it I know that this object really is a word dot application and so I've gotta cast it to word dot 